I, I researched it. it. It probably took place somewhere around, well, several thousand years ago. And the country it's from is Algeria. Think of the war we have now when we, I know when Baron Max is from over, he's called it the sandbox. But in the Middle East, they've been warring for many years. And this was a small town that was being besieged by a bigger enemy. And they had, many of their men had been already killed. There were mainly women, younger, younger boys, old men left. But there was a chance to start again. But they were running out of food. And times were really dire. They didn't quite know what to do and they had many ideas coming to them. And finally, the, we, we just need to surrender. Our children are starving. There is no grain left, there is no food left. We've killed all the animals and they've been chased away. <coughs> surrender. But there was an old lady that came forward and she said, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This enemy is not known for being kind. Surrender may mean the death of us anyway. Might it not be better to, to think if we can't go down fighting, we should be able to think our way to freedom. And they said, well, they knew she was a very wise woman. So they wanted to listen to her. And they said, well, how, what can we do? She said, I, I have a plan. If you're willing to follow my plan, I, I really think we can get the enemy to go away. And they said, well, we'll try anything. What is your plan? He said, well, first, I need a cat a young cow. And they said, Grandmother, there is no such animal left. But she knew, being a wise and older woman, that there was a man that had been hoarding the last live calf and kept in a shed. It wasn't well fed, but he hoped that at the end of this besiegement, he'd be able to get a lot of money for it. So a few others knew, and they went to the man and took away the calf and brought the calf and she said, now I need you to find me as much corn as you can. I said, Grandmother, there, there's no corn left. You, the children are crying, crying. She said, go in the grain bin and find every speck you can. If each brings just with a handful, that will help. We have a bucket here, bring. So they went and they gathered corn, a few kernels here, a handful there and put it in the bucket. And they were amazed, the bucket got to be filled. She said, now put water in the bucket. So they did. And said, then bring the calf and let him eat. And they were horrified. They, they could see the grain, their stomachs were rumbling. But it is she told. And the calf ate the grain. And then she said, now, at the first light of dawn, I want you to put the calf outside the gates and let the enemy find it. And I went, but, but now we have a calf that we can eat. She said, this is part of my plan. So when morning came, the few village elders that were left shoved the calf outside the gate and shoot it away the way she further instructed. And of course, an enemy who has been spying saw this calf coming out. And he went back and he reported, hey, they, they have a calf that's just wandering around grazing. And the enemy was astonished because by besieging the city, they had been without a lot of supplies for a long time too. And they were far away from their homeland and they were very hungry. So of course they came and captured the calf and they rejoiced, we'll have meat tonight. When they slaughtered the calf and cut up in his stomach, they found undigested corn. And they said, you mean these people have had enough corn to feed this calf? and enough meat in the village that they could let this calf wander out. They are much better supplied than we ever imagined. None of our spies thought of that. Oh, this is, this is terrible. So they went to their king, who was in camp nearby, and they told him of this plight, that they had found, that they put this calf out, and the calf had been eating, and obviously, the village was not in such dire need. And the king looked at his men who were stressed and very, very hungry. And he said, we have been misinformed. I think it best that we save the day 
and leave this for war for another day. And so he took his troops and they moved out. And the people in the village, the one on the, the parapet was looking and, and realized they were leaving. And they rejoiced because now they could go out and go further away and hunt and the village was saved. This old lady may have been a woman left by war, but she was a wise woman that saved her friends. Woohoo! <laughs>